A Macon Bibb District Attorney's presentation on a new school and justice initiative is complete. The Georgia Department of Juvenile Justice, Bibb County School District, and other partners developed a protocol for handling youth in schools. 41 NBC's Tanya Motorzitski joins us live with what will be implemented for the 2018-2019 school year. Here at the district attorney office, they have met their goal in having the framework completed this afternoon. Over the past two days, participants have mapped out what offenses will result in children receiving services and under what circumstances will cases be seen in court. It resets the default settings for both the school and for the school resource officer about what they should do when children act up. District Attorney David Cook says there's usually an underlining issue when kids misbehave. This will give school resource officers options to give this child treatment they need. We know this because of the data. We know this because this program has been used in many other places and has been extraordinarily successful. But I think the biggest thing to think about too is that we're not just helping the kids who need it, but we're making schools and the community safer. Two things could happen from this protocol. We're able to spend more time on, on the um, teenage offenders who are actually doing real crime that threatens people. But also, this new approach allows the officers who are in the school to build better relationships with the student. Cook says the authoritative figure, the officer, won't be looked at as the person trying to get them in trouble, rather someone who can help. We see that they're liable to end up getting a certain kind of treatment through the court system. It's better to give them that treatment early and for them to never come to court because it wastes resources and it allows the child to get treatment ahead of time. The next stage of this agreement is to get it in writing and have everyone sign off on it. Cook says this process can take anywhere from three to six months, but he is confident that this initiative will be in place by the fall for the new school year. Reporting live in Macon, Tanya Motorzitski, 41 NBC News.